Hello everyone. Today I'm going to uh, give the final tips to score good marks in science. So let us start uh, with the tips before science exam. First of all, complete the entire syllabus from NCRT. As the question paper of the uh, board, come uh, board exam is always based on NCRT. So therefore, first complete the entire syllabus from the NCRT class 10 science textbook to understand the concepts of each and every chapters of term 2 examination. Now coming to the next, maintain a separate book or you can maintain an A4 size paper for definition, for writing definition, for drawing diagrams uh, with the lab label diagrams, theories and methods. So electricity chapter physics is all about formulas, circuit diagrams, theories, concepts and you are always suggested to keep them handy. This practice is really uh, useful when you are doing your last minute revision. Okay, so some tips subject uh, wise, first uh, physics, uh, for physics practice as many derivations, formulas and numericals as possible. Derivation series combination, equivalent resistance ka derivation hai, for uh, parallel combination also and all the formulas and numericals based on this uh, uh, you have to practice and practice numericals on the series and parallel combination of resistance. Uh, because uh, um, I, I have seen uh, some students they are using uh, series uh, combination formula in parallel parallel combination formulas ulta ulta kar dete hai. Toh isliye bahut practice chahiye isme. So practice diagrams like lines of magnetic field around a solenoid and a bar magnet and electric circuit diagram. Now for chemistry this section is the easiest and highest scoring section in science. But one needs to be very clear with the concepts. So focus on carbon compounds and its nomenclature containing functional groups. Prepare short notes or reminders of formulas along with some compound names to revise it. This will be very useful uh, uh, during the final revision. Understand the modern uh, periodic table with the electronic configuration and memorize all the elements placed in the first and the last two groups of the periodic table. Now for biology. Uh, this is the theoretical section with lots of terminologies to memorize. So one must also practice all the diagrams thoroughly and make notes, uh, notes of terms and their associated functions to learn and revise, especially during, it will be very helpful during the last uh, time revision. Thoroughly prepare Mendel's experiments and understand the traits inheritance because this a question definitely hoga. And biology comprises of several complex diagrams. Therefore, students must build a habit of drawing a neat and clean diagram while writing the answers. This will also help them in scoring good marks. Now, the unit which carries more marks in the question paper should be given more time to practice. After completing the entire syllabus from NCRT textbooks, complete my science uh, minimum level study materials. I will give the uh, link in the description. Then go through the previous year's board exam questions. Uh, it gives a broader view of the questions to be asked in the paper. Moreover, it provides more questions to the students to do uh, more practice. And after completing the revision work, solve first CBSE official sample paper. Uh, I will provide the link of this uh, official sample paper also in the description. Now, uh, how to manage the time? First, this is my suggestion for you start you try to start from section C that is 4 marks question and then section B and lastly section A 2 marks question. Agar bachyo ko ye wala sequence mein habit nahi hai so don't do the new practice you can go as usual section A, section B and section C. So now I will uh, show that some time management uh, uh, sh uh, advised from my side. 2 marks questions we know that it is uh, 7 questions and you have to uh, give time three to five minutes. So not more than 35 minutes overall. Now three marks questions, total six questions, hai, six to seven minutes, not more than 45 minutes. And the last uh, uh, section, four marks ka case study questions, two case study questions. Hai, uh, my suggested time is seven to 10 minutes, but not more than 25 minutes. So all together 105 minutes plus revision time 10, so total 115 minutes. So this is the uh, time uh, suggestion uh, suggested by me and uh, it will differ uh, student to student, right? So attempt all my sample papers, 10 sample papers along with answers as test using the above suggested time management from my website blog. 
uh, www.kumasa34.wordpress.com. Uh, if you search in Google, also you will get the link. Uh, I will provide the link also in the description box. But, but by fixing a time for each sample paper as one hour, 45 minutes. Doing enough practice of sample papers boosts the level of self-confidence of the students. So practicing the sample papers also teaches uh, the concept of time management to the students. I am sure that this exercise will definitely help you to complete your board exam in one and a half hours. Now, the some tips during science exams, now during the exam. Read the question paper with full concentration. Use uh, first to 15 minutes reading time carefully and effectively by going through the question paper at least twice and marking all the questions which seem difficult and leave them for last. First attempt those questions which you are sure about starting from section C to A or A to C. Understand the worth of each question. Never spend too much time that is 5 to 10 minutes on two marks questions. Already I suggested right uh, time. If you don't know the solution for a particular question then without wasting time leave some space for that question and proceed to the next question. Answer sheet should be neat and clean. Neat and clean. Rough work should be done on the same page by drawing a margin for specially numerical. Do not cut the rough work if you could not get the answer. Partial math marks may be given for the time work done. Avoid overwriting. Kabhi kabhi aisa hota hai ki bachcho ko last minute mein time nahi mil pata hai us numericals ko complete karne ke liye. But rough mein kiya wa marks ko consider karke partial marks kabhi kabhi dete hai. So that is why no need to cut the rough work. Write a proper heading rough work on the right side of the answer sheet. You can put up one margin for rough work. Right. Now avoid overwriting. Use pencil and scale to draw the diagrams. Never draw a diagram with the use of a pen. And don't leave any questions unattempted. Write down anything you know about the question even if it is wrong. There is no negative marking. So attempting a question definitely you will not lose uh, nothing. Even if you don't know the answer completely will not hurt. So something suppose uh, if uh, um, something environment uh, topic is there and uh, you are not able to know the answer you can write something about the environment right so now never lose your patience during the exam if you uh, do not know the answer to any questions do not lose your patience after completing the familiar question easy questions take a long breath and think about the concepts involved in that particular question this will definitely help you to recall some steps some concepts of that question so that you can attempt those questions right now Revise, revise, revise. It's great that you get done with the paper before time. But do not leave the exam hall or do not take rest just yet. Take a breather, relax and start going through your answers. Double checking your calculations in numerical. Making sure you, you haven't mistake, uh, committed any silly mistakes. Always remember that once you leave the exam hall, there is no way back. Don't leave the easy questions till the end. Over the years of teaching to school children, I have noticed this very common tendency of students to attempt the harder question right from the beginning. But start, but it will uh, definitely hamper your timing, time management. So start with the easy questions, get warmed up, and you will find that you can go through the question paper a lo lot more smoothly than before. This will help you finish uh, the paper before time and reduce the likelihood of making silly mistakes. Over preparation is a very big problem. I have noticed many times that students see similar questions uh, that they may have subconsciously committed uh, to memory, memory and write them without going through the problem statement. Suppose uh, a question I have uh, equivalent resistance of uh, parallel combination or equal resistance they ke fata -fata series wala combination uh, wahan pe derive kar hai. So that is why. Uh, the students have to be very careful about this section, right? So, this, so these are some tips, uh, my tips before exam and during exam. So, I wish you all the best for your future. All the best. Best of luck. Thank you.